So welcome everybody to our conference about architecture. I think it's a you know, great idea to really come up with similar types of conferences every month from now and on. We've got so many topics to tackle and of course, probably the strongest uh, arena right now that we are in with some, I think more than 1200 architects that applied for citizenship and with such a, a the sound names like Patrick Schumacher and, and many other architects that are on board. It, it makes complete sense to basically start with this initial expert uh, competition and also a conference about the future look of Liberal Life. And his proposals and then his uh, ideas are really inspiring. And, and I told him, Sergio, you know, this is probably a $20 billion project for Liberal Life. Maybe you could scale it down a little bit. Uh, and he came up with another proposal uh, uh, a couple of years later, uh, which is this initial design. There is a beautiful video that you can play also on YouTube. It's, and then the Mix Design Studio, Stanley Loop. Uh, I hope he's also with us as a, as a attendee. Uh, his his uh, proposals are just so hyper-realistic and so much in line with the nature. And another proposal which shouldn't be forgotten because also gives a interesting view of how Liberal Line could be developed uh, by Matteo Zibati and Andrea Bologna, two young Italian architects. So this is the spot. Uh, you probably saw it in the, in the short video that is there on the architectural website. And there is Bitcoin Freedom. It looks small, but I'm telling you it's a huge ship. It has 39 meters, just that you don't have the scale. It is parked right there and it's up to us what we are going to make out of this place. Uh, the Apatin municipality is ready to basically accept different proposals. And a couple more pictures, but also that's a task of uh, Maria Blesic, the, the interior design of Bitcoin Freedom and, and how it's planned right now. Uh, you probably saw those pictures, but this is something that Maria can talk about. She would definitely enjoy uh, to work with anybody on that. Uh, she is a great young local architect. Uh, and this is the, the project that we have in mind uh, right now for the free zone. Uh, it should also be the seat of Liberal and Chamber of Commerce. And, and the other thing, of course, is the free zone in Apatin, which can be a great gateway in the process. Uh, yeah, I want to uh, very briefly uh, discuss the a paper generated for uh, thinking through planning regime policies, uh, which could apply to Liberland or other free private cities. Um, if you, if Liberland is some kind of in, treated in al an, uh, analogy to a corporation, the way, and and uh, of course there is forms of collective ownership involved in a large project. We did have a few questions uh, come through here for you as well. Uh, the, the rules and regulations, um, 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 the taxes, the, uh, the, the customs, uh, uh, which Witt mentioned. So there's, there's a lot of financial burdens, enormous amount of regulatory burdens, uh, and just simply a lack of entrepreneurial freedom. Um, um, and, 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 and the big attraction for, for something like Lieberland is to offer that degree of freedom. So, so Sergio, as I was going through um, Luigi, the French Italian master. And um, I'm gonna share my screen. What's important to me on the Liberland uh, is uh, the concept that also brought us to, to floating Liberland and uh, to floating over the Danube. That, then, and that's another side part of what we're doing for, for Liberland. What's really important is uh, the approach towards uh, a different uh, way of touching the ground. Hi everyone, I want to say a few things first about what was the brief for the 2015 competition. The thought, um, the thought came to me actually uh, early hours of one morning i was half awake half asleep <laughs> and a few days later and to be specific on october 21st 2015 um, i started uh, what what i call raw nyc initiative for liberland so it was born on that day so 
the vision, so I'm going to divide it up in a few um, segments in order to cover a, a very kind of thorough process that we went through in order to come up with this concept. Like this idea of the algae was, uh, came, uh, came about when we realized we have this large surfaces of the, layer, the layered city, because that's like actually our structure system. The equation as Lieberland develops, so urban, urban development in general is complex collaborative um, sort of structure that morphs and remains liquid throughout its evolution. Thank you very much for organizing this conference and for inviting me to be part of this exciting thing. And I will talk about competition and urban development. For people like you, like us, people who have a vision, people like Vityedlichka, like Patrick Schumacher, who believe in individual freedom, the idea of a libertarian paradise has been a cherished dream for many years. Remember John Gold's Gulch from Ayn Rand's famous Atlas Shrugged? Well, back in the 50s, when the book was first published, it seemed totally utopian. But today, the idea of a stateless society where the main rule is live and let live, the idea behind sea stating, as daring as it is, or the idea behind Lavasa in India, or the idea behind the charter cities in Honduras, is the same as the idea behind Liverland. It's the idea that we can create a huge diversity of governments for a huge diversity of people so that everyone is free to pursue their goals and follow their dreams. Nice. So I'm here to talk about Bitcoin freedom. You, you saw that, uh, that both, right? I'm going to share my screen to... So this is Bitcoin freedom and this is project that has done Sergio's studio, right? I want to show you what have we done in the interior. This is 2D plans just to explain uh, basically what we planned, what we wanted to, to, to do. So this is about Bitcoin freedom that I wanted to share. If you go to this website, you can see how office could look like. Of course, there are going to be some office for private meetings and stuff. That the Liberland design competition is going live today. Registration is now open. Um, and this competition is going to be focusing on what Patrick called the spontaneous order in order to allow entrants to have the maximum capacity to suggest innovative ideas and to brainstorm. So this is a very specific kind of competition. I would say uh, incoming event that we've got is on 13th of August. It is the Floating Man Festival. It will be the uh, physical meeting of Liberlanders again in Liberland. I hope that you will be already able to enjoy the start of the construction of the free zone building there. So let me just conclude with the picture with me and my wife in front of Liberland. It's such a nice pristine nature and we have to do our best to fit the freedom ideas into it. Our time is now.